When we're researching crypto projects, we're looking for that one thing. We're looking for that project that does something different than the other cryptocurrencies. We're looking for innovation, and that's why in today's video, I'm bringing you Infineon. Why is Infineon different? Picture this, guys. You've got a blockchain, blockchain where every single transaction that happens on the network, every transaction on this ETH layer 2 network increases the value of the entire network. So why is this ETH layer 2 different? Let's dive in. How do we do research on a speculative asset that hasn't been launched yet in the world and the roller coaster ride that we call cryptocurrency? We need to do additional research. We need to gather information on the project and we need to understand why is this technology different to other technologies? Why is this cryptocurrency different to other cryptocurrencies? How is this, in this instance, ETH layer two? different to other ETH layer twos. Does it have an edge? We need to gather as much information as possible. The first place that we're going to be looking is the website. And the website for Infineon is infineon.com. They're the infinitely smarter blockchain. You can see the look and the feel of the website. You've got about us, ecosystem, pre-sale, mint NFTs, bridge, KYC. And the place that we go to gather the most information of any project is their white paper. Why do we go to the white paper? The white paper is going to give you a greater understanding of any project. So we'll have a quick look at the white paper now, and we'll just briefly go over this. I urge you, if you're looking at this project, to go and read the full white paper. So the abstract saying, Infineon is an innovative layer two blockchain built on Ethereum, utilizing Ethereum as its native gas currency. Similar to Base and similar to Arbitrum, this cutting edge platform introduces a unique mechanism that sets it apart from other chains, a dynamic allocation of gas fees to a smart contract for multiple purposes. Most important being the underlying asset of the chain will always appreciate in value. That's why this is different to other chains. It's got a mechanism built in where it's always going to appreciate in value as the transactions happen on the network. And we're just going to continue and work our way through the Infineon.com website to paint a picture that we're looking for. That's what we're looking to do, paint a picture as to what it is that this thing does. Why is this technology different? And a few things here that stand out, you can see that the testnet is now live. The mainnet release is coming soon. So we've got a pre-sale that's live. And we can just click that here. This is how you get in. Once you've done your research, and if it's something that you're looking to get into, you just click on that button, and you've got four days, five hours, four minutes, and 27 seconds before the price increase. So that's an important thing. So if we go back through the website, if we go back through the website, you can see that we're featured in some big articles here. Before we get into the articles, I want to go through a quick disclaimer. I want to be full and transparent and let you know that this video is sponsored by Infineon. While this is a paid partnership, all the opinions shared in this video are entirely my own, based on my honest review of their product. Please note that cryptocurrencies and crypto-related platforms and projects like the one discussed today are highly speculative and can involve significant risks. Past performance is not indicative of future results, and the value of cryptocurrencies can fluctuate dramatically. It's important that you do your own research and consider your risk tolerance before investing in any cryptocurrency or using any crypto exchange or crypto platform or project. I'm not a flat financial advisor and this concept content should not be considered financial advice. I'm simply sharing my review of Infineon and its services and you should always consult with a qualified financial advisor or conduct thorough due diligence before making any investments or trading decisions. And that is the disclaimer over. So we'll go through the next section of the website. This is the featured in section. So these are all the different media outlets that have wrote articles on Infineon. So the wrote articles on Infineon, you can see that it's not linked with these names, but it also mentions some big players within the same article. Dog with hat recovers following slump. Infineon presale heats up. You can see it's mentioned with some big players here. Ethereum price crash puts Infineon in the spotlight. Let's talk about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this reel go in the background and I'll talk to you about why Ethereum needs a layer two scaling solution. So Ethereum's slow. That's the bottom line, guys. Ethereum used to be slow. It's a lot quicker than what it was, but it is still very slow. Why does it need a scaling solution? Because crypto's early, guys. Ethereum's still early. It's been around for quite a while, but it's still early as far as people adopting it's concerned. So as a layer one, scales and scales and scales it needs one thing it needs to be able to have faster transactions and it needs to have cheaper transactions 
if it can't scale, the more people that come to the network, then the more price it's going to cost in gas fees and the longer it's going to take for those transactions. So it needs a layer two scaling solution. There's many two layer two scaling solutions out there. So Ethereum's looking for something that does something different. And this is where Infineon says that it's different because it's saying that every single time that a transaction happens on the network, then that transaction automatically gains value. And then next to sum it up, let's talk about, about Infineon. Infineon is an innovative layer two blockchain, which is built on Ethereum utilizing Ethereum as its native gas currency. Similar to BASE and similar to Arbitrum, this cutting edge platform introduces a unique mechanism that sets it apart from other chains, a dynamic allocation of gas fees to a smart contract for multiple purposes. The important being the underlying asset of the chain will always appreciate in value. And this next bit's golden for any of you guys that are like me, the one information, the one information on time, the one information now, AMAs are the best place to go. So they've got the YouTube channel, but first and foremost, here we go for anybody that's too lazy to go off this platform and go into YouTube and go onto their channel. You've got all this information here, got all this information here, all these informative videos. So you can click on those videos, but first we're going to take a look at the YouTube channel. What do we do? Show our support, show our love, subscribe to the channel. So subscribe to the channel. And one thing that you'll see every Friday, guys, every single Friday, you'll see that DeFi Sean and Squid Grow Joe go live at 3 p.m. EST. They go live for Infineon's Fridays to talk all things Infineon. So go and check that out, guys. Friday, 3 p.m. EST, Infineon Friday. So that's what the YouTube channel looks like. I've subscribed, I've shown my support, and I'm going to stay up to date with Infineon. And now we're really diving into the research. This is the ecosystem. And I want you to think it's powered by three tokens. Infineon is powered by three tokens. Those three tokens are the native token, the liquidity token, and the gas token. So how do each one of these work? Let's go through them step by step. The native token, let's go through this. This dynamic native token will be the main benefactor within the ecosystem. It can be purchased during pre-sale and it will help bring recognition while also assuring the long-term viability of the blockchain itself. The deflationary mechanism ensures that Infineon coins are consistently taken out of circulation, leading to sustainable rewards without any inflationary pressures. 50% of all gas and DEX fees on the chain will automatically be kicked back to the token buy and burn. All future platforms built on the blockchain, that includes Launchpad, NFT, Marketplace, will also buy and burn. So that's the native token. What about the liquidity token? Portion of the gas fees are allocated to the Infineon Plus contract. That's a wrapped ETH token, which is on the chain. That allows Infineon Plus to appreciate in value. Infineon Plus starts at a one-to-one -one value with Ethereum, but with each transaction, ETH is added to its contract, inc increasing its value over a period of time. This mechanism helps ensure that all tokens paired with Infineon Plus benefit from this appreciation, which creates a positive feedback loop of value increase over time. Tokens that launch on the chain will pair on Infineon Plus if they want the benefit of the value of their underlying asset increasing over a period of time. And finally, the gas token. So it's paired one-to-one -one value with Ethereum. It's going to work very similar to Base and Arbitrum. It will be the token used to interact on the blockchain, and it will always be pegged one-to-one -one value with Ethereum. There'll also be a bridge to easily switch between Ethereum and Infineon Ethereum. So how does the bridge work? Let's have a look at that. The bridge mechanism facilitates seamless conversion between ETH, Base, BNB, and Arbitrum. Bidirectional conversion enables users to switch between ETH, BASE, BNB, and Arbitrum tokens effortlessly. That's what we're looking for on the blockchain, seamless transactions. We want bidirectional conversion, we want efficiency, and we want revenue sharing. So minimizes friction in asset transfers, promoting fluid fluidity and usability within the ecosystem, and revenue generated from the bridge fees will be allocated back to the revenue sharing. So we'll have a quick look at Infinity Swap, the native DEX. Infinity Swap will feature Infineon Plus as its primary wrapped ETH asset with most, most tokens defaulting to pair with it. Projects listing on Infinity Swap 
will experience value appreciation in time as their backing asset Infineon Plus rises in value with each transaction. This structure ensures that every transaction on the chain boosts the value of all tokens on Infinity Swap, creating a robust and dynamic ecosystem. Then it's also auto compounding staking. Infineon offers a compelling staking mechanism to incentivize long term participation. Auto compounding rewards. Tokens staked for at least one month earn a competitive 5% APY. Three months earns a competitive 10% APY and compounds automatically. It's revenue fund, and like majority of the tokens in existence, the staking is funded by revenue and not gifted supply or taxed money. And then the penalty mechanism and staking before the period end incurs a 30% penalty, encouraging commitment and and stability. I hope I've provided you with enough information, but just to summarize that Infineon is an ETH layer two. It's the first of its kind ever appreciate in blockchain, meaning that the value of the blockchain will increase and it will continue to increase in value with every single transaction. So we touched on the three tokens. That's the native token. The Infinity Plus, which is the wrapped LP token, and then of course the Infineon Gas token. So a little bit more news for you guys. The Dex is just about to be complete, and that's going to be launched on the test net within the next couple of weeks. So stay up to date with that, guys. You know where to stay up to date. DeFi Sean, Squid Grow Joe, Friday, 3 p.m. EST, Infineon Fridays. That's where you can stay up to date, guys. And the next thing. Infineon are also working with Coimpresso, which is one of the biggest agencies in Web2. They also represent Binance, and they're also a big part of the $65 million raise for BlockDAG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave leave a link in the description below. I'll leave a link for Coimpresso. I'll leave a link for all the socials. I'll leave a link for the pre-sale, the website, the Telegram, the Twitter, the Discord, the YouTube. How about that? Check out the information below. Don't forget, if you did find this useful information, subscribe to the Crypto Bullseye channel. Let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.